ConvertBox Quiz Segmentation. In this video, we're going to cover quiz scoring, segmentation, conditional actions and integrations, skip logic, and finally, how to pass results into active campaigns so you can customize your messages. So let's dive right in. Now, we're going to start from ground zero and build up a form that asks questions and then segments based on answers and then pushes that information into active campaign. So to start with, I have a number of questions I want to ask that basically is hypothetical. And I'll be honest, this isn't going to look as good as ConvertBox can make it, but it will be functional and show you how to do it. Finally, there's one feature that I feel like they're missing that wouldn't be impossible to add that would make this even more simpler. So here we go. I'm going to create a ConvertBox. So this is how we will start the quiz that we want to get someone to take. Um, and the biggie here is we want to have this button go to the next step. So what I need to do now is come up with all the different steps for my questions. So I've set this up. Now I want to act add in all the questions I want to ask and I'm going to make some changes based on responses. So let's get started here. We have all the steps now for this to um, use. And one thing I want to point out is not all information is going to get passed to active campaign and not all information is going to be used for scoring. So the gender and age, I want to pass back to active campaign so that I can use that in an email. For instance, I might say for men that are 30 to 40 years old that are beginners, then we want to do this. Everything else down here, level, plan, frequency, time, and app, we're going to use to score um, somebody's level from, let's say, beginner, intermediate, advanced. So now what I need to do is I need to go into each of these and modify the button action so that it does something appropriate. And to start with, this is easy peasy. We just want to continue on. So there's really nothing to do. And we're not going to integrate. But these two fields here, the apply a custom field name and value and apply a quiz value score are what we're going to be using. So let's do nothing at this step and simply move on to the next one. So this is a field, these fields I want to actually collect and push into my active campaign account. So I'm going to go into here and click on this, go to button settings and I want to apply a custom field name and value. So the field value is actually going to be min, not man. And the reason I want to do that is because when I send an email, I want it to say for men that are, I don't want to say for man that are. So I'm going to make this min. That's kind of an important distinction. Now the field identifier needs to be whatever is in your account. In this case, the custom field is going to be called gender, and I'm just going to use lowercase. You know, I might be able to get away with uppercase, but I'm going to just be absolutely certain that's the case. I mean, that's the field identifier. Now I want to go into active campaign, go to uh, lists, actually manage fields, and I'm going to create a field called gender. I'm just going to do all lowercase. I'm going to leave it in here. It's going to be a 
text field. Now the other thing I'm collecting is age. So I'm going to create another custom field called age. And again, it's going to be text input. So those two fields will be populated from the information that gets collected here. So I'm not using the quiz score here, but I will be using it shortly. But here's another piece of information. So I want to go to button settings, apply a custom field. Again, women, plural, and gender is going to be the identifier. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Go on to the next step, the age. And I need to repeat this for every single one. And in this case, I'm actually going to say less than 20, but it'll be lowercase, and I will leave everything else the same. So let me show you what I mean. So here for the button settings, I wanna apply a custom field. I'm gonna go edit the value, and I'm going to put in less than 20, and again, lowercase, and this is age. So I need to basically repeat that for every option here. So this is complete. Now the next steps, level, plan, frequency, time, and app are all things I'm gonna use with scoring. I'm not gonna pass that information into Active Campaign. I could, in this case I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go show you what I wanna do here is level. Now I have to come up with a scoring system and I'm not being very precise here. I'm just gonna say a score based on a button click can be anywhere from zero to 10 points. And because there's five questions here, the maximum score is 50. And I wanna have beginner, intermediate, advanced. So that's basically three groups across 50 points, which is about 16 points a little more per group. So anywhere from 50, and I'm gonna just do 15. So from 50 to 35 points is going to be advanced. 35 to 20 is going to be intermediate. And anything less than 20 will be beginner. And again, I'm making stuff up here. I would probably be a little more precise and I'm going to go in here and apply a quiz score. And what was that first question? Fitness level. Let's give them something. I'm going to go two for this. Now I need to keep making up scores, if you will, for each um, answer that they give. Um, and again, this is very subjective. I would actually be a little more conscientious about doing this so that the scores work out the way I would expect. But for purposes of explanation, this will do. So gender and age have information that's going to be passed to active campaign. Level, plan, frequency, time, app have scores that are going to be used to calculate a value, a score, which then puts them into a certain group, beginner, intermediate, expert. Now, here's where I wish ConvertBox would have some capability, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to create another step. It's going to be called, I'm going to call it form. And I'm going to, I'm going to add a form. So I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to put in a form right there. And I'm actually going to put some text in here, right here and say, now here's the capability that, um, convert box now has, I can add in their quiz score. What I really would like to have happen is I'd like to actually be able to pass in the values I collected. So for instance, men or age, gender or age, for instance, that's not available right now, but that would make it so I could very much personalize this rather than just provide a score. A score is a good start and I'm gonna use that. Now, one thing we do now is have conditional actions, but here I'm going to simply add them to a active campaign account I have, and I'm gonna put them on a list. I'm also gonna add a tag to that. Just call it quiz. 
And for now, I'm not gonna do anything that's conditional here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So when they get to the, after they've answered all their questions, they're gonna get a score and then we're gonna ask them to provide their email and name and then send them results. But actually, I wanna give them another uh, result page after this. Enter your email to get your results. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you know what I should do? I should probably add what a nice little feature is to put a progress bar. Now I'm not gonna put a progress bar on the form, but what I do want them to do is go to the next step. Now I'm gonna have three outputs. One can be beginner. And I'm just gonna make these a little bit bold that bold. I'm going to copy this because guess what? It's effectively going to be the same thing for, and I'll come back to this one shortly and show you what I'm going to do so that I can skip over this if it's not appropriate. Now, to be clear, we didn't actually have to collect email. We could have simply gone to the appropriate page and maybe linked out to um, another place for them to go. And we could have also sent them to a custom page on our website, but we're trying to keep them all on here. And going back to here, here's what I'm gonna show you. If I wanna get, to, when I get to this result page here, the next thing we wanna do here is implement the skip logic if somebody is not a beginner and we wanna skip over it. So for instance, if you go here and you click on this little icon, it says skip logic. And my recommendation is take advantage of this. This is something that'll show like a spinning wheel that says something you can change it. It's currently defaults to calculate, calculating your results. So what you wanna do is, I would tick that box, go down, add logic, select it, and we're gonna use the quiz score. Now if you remember, the scores can range from zero to 50, and we wanna go from 50 to 35, and then 34 to 20, and then everything less than that stays on this page. So if the quiz score is between 21 and 30, let's do 35. We're gonna add, we're gonna go to another step. We're gonna go to intermediate. So that's one thing. Now let's add another one for advanced. So now we've got up skip logic. So depending on their answers, they're gonna be sent eventually to the beginner, intermediate, or advanced form. The default is beginner after they submitted the form. And now what we wanna do is set up some automation based on them getting the quiz tag. So I'm gonna go into here and I am going to create an automation called quiz. And to start this automation, we're gonna use a trigger based on tag being added. Real simply, I'm gonna send them an email and I'm gonna take advantage of what I've collected to message them appropriately. So I'm gonna take advantage of personalization. I'm gonna start with first name, four, and then here we go with the gender. So for instance, for men or for women that are say 20 to 30 years old, Now, one thing I've forgotten already is I, I do need to tag people based on their um, level. So beginner, intermediate, advanced. That, and actually, let me make it conditional. And there, it would be, there'd be something more in here, but basically I'm referencing their gender and their age from what I collected from ConvertBox. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and exit that and then do whatever else, wait another day or simply in the automation. Now I'm gonna go back to ConvertBox and I am going to do this. So we're gonna do conditional integrations. Scores between zero and 20. We are going to add a tag and I would have already created it, but I haven't. So I am going 
to do this. Add another one. I'm going to say 51, just to be safe. All right. Yeah, I should probably make it active. Okay, so let's go test this out. Yeah, it looks like I need to fix this um, thing right here. I'm going to do, let's do 20 to 30. Let's say unfit. Sure, I have a workout plan, one to two days. Probably should change that. And there's this. Tells me I'm an intermediate, perfect. Now, I wanna make sure I get that email. So there it is. The gender's correct, the age is correct. I've completed this. It looks like I've probably sent a quiz. And that is how you use ConvertBox quiz and segmentation capability.